Margaret, thanks very much. With Senator Richard Shelby, the ranking Republican on the Bank Committee, as you said, of Alabama, arguably the most influential Republican on this panel. You voted no today. Tell me why. I voted no because I think it, it was an expression of frustration and lack of confidence in the Federal Reserve, especially in the leadership by Chairman Bernanke. I was, uh, when I was chairman of the Banking Committee four years ago, I presided over his nomination, had high hopes for him as a leader. He's a decent man. He's well-educated. But I don't believe that he's brought the leadership to the Fed as a member of the Board of Governors and especially as chairman that we need. And you aren't swayed by the argument that a change in leadership of the Fed right now at this particular moment in time wouldn't cause uh, uh, the markets to be disrupted in any way? No, but I, I, I uh, you know, he's appointed by the president. I know it'll be a, a, a interesting debate on the floor on this nomination, but um, I don't know what the outcome will be if it's similar to the committee today, but I believe that, that uh, a healthy debate is good. I believe we have to raise questions about his tenure, his leadership, especially the too big to fail uh, situation and, and uh, a lot of mistakes I think they've made, too many. How aggressively are you going to try and hold up this nomination on the floor? Senator Sanders says he's going to do everything in his power. Are you going to take it that far or if you don't get the votes are you prepared to walk away and let this happen? Well, I uh, think we will go through first a healthy debate. I think the Senate needs a debate on this and all nominations like this. Uh, the Fed is very controversial now. The role of the Fed as a regulator was, was a, a terrible failure, I thought, and this was under uh, the last four years, among other things. You're going through the regulatory reform process at the same time. Assume Ben Bernanke resumes his role as chairman of the Fed for a second term. Are you going to support this effort, this proposal over on the House side, to allow Congress to audit the Fed's monetary policy decisions? Is that the kind of wing clipping that uh, senator, some senators were talking about today in the committee? Well, I'm not interested in wing clipping, but I am interested in the United States Senate and the American people knowing what the Fed's doing. Maybe not running monetary policy but understanding it and I think this is important I think the Fed is too secretive it's important that they do monetary policy I believe and not regul regulation of banks and that wouldn't compromise uh, the independence of the Fed in, in any way it's certainly Ben Bernanke has argued very strongly against Ron Paul's proposal well I would uh, vote uh, for a GAO audit of the Fed and let them report to Congress I do not think Congress should run the Fed but we have oversight responsibilities. We created the Fed. We delegate authority to them under the laws. We have since 1913. But the Fed uh, should be responsible to the American people. One last question for you. There were some concerns raised by Republican members of the committee. They want to see documents related to AIG before they can vote on this nomination. Can you tell us anything more about those documents in that conference? I haven't seen the documents, but there's a, there's a lot of information that's been requested by various members of, of our committee, and I believe the senators ought to see them before they vote. All right. Senator Richard Shelby of Alabama, as always, we appreciate the time. And no vote for Ben Bernanke today, sir. Thanks very Thank much. Thank you, Peter. Good to see you.